So. Why did you ask me that? You knew no, I didn't no, know. I, thought, I just wanted you to say I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. But you could have just told me then. You didn't have to ask me. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. Losers finals, guys. It's time. This is going to be another two out of three. So only grand finals, I believe, is going to be three out of five. Or so only that, we'll grand finals, yeah. Grand finals was confirmed in the rule set. Only be uh, three out of five. Oh, okay, and okay. Pega right now, which is Japanese for. Uh, the Emperor, apparently, wow. is sitting in the winner's side of Grand Finals, and these two players are going to work their way through this match to see who's going to be able to fight the Emperor in Grand Finals. So we're going to be here on the Temple Ground, a Sango stage. You're going to have some pillars around the outside. Uh, oh, and you, you're correct. We see Gore here using his Max Brass. Uh, realizing, I guess, he, he learned early from his earlier match against Sukaran after being set to lose his bracket from him. Maybe the Helix wasn't working out too much. I don't really know much about Gore's Max Brass. I've never, I haven't really seen him play this card too much. I have watched a lot of his Helix, but right now it looks like he has control of his match as he takes round number one. I mean, that worked out so well for him. He was able to take hits on his own and just deal damage back. One thing that Gormagala loves to do when it comes to Max Brass is either use this as a secondary uh, to just kind of, kind of pick the opponent or style on it. And right now we're going to have an opportunity, but right there actually a little bit late on the draw. Yeah, wow, look at this. This is crazy. The, the gloves that we see from uh, Super Ryan using, using that uh, with the Glamour. Yeah, and, uh, Glamour the actually. Uh, the Japanese players were, uh, are absolutely going crazy right now, seeing what's going on here. The, the, the decision making by Tsukuran, especially with the arms that he has here. Yeah, not what I expected to see in losers finals, but here we are, man. <laughs> nice brass versus Master Mummy. Uh oh, so I grabbed to make 170 damage. Brent kicked that pillar right there. More damage opportunities. We're not going to see any grabs. He's probably just going to keep on swinging. Yep, there it is. Gormagala. So Two straight rounds is, to get the first one. Is this it? Have we found Gore's, or I'm sorry, not Gore. Have we found Sukuran's weakness here in Max Brass? Sukuran, uh, I mean, Max. I think Max Brass was definitely a solid pick. He, we saw already what Pega was able to do in winners. And I mean, he might as well just uh, just do the same thing, man. He has a Max Brass secondary. Why not use it? You know, the, the rounds or the matches are looking a little bit closer than what uh, than Super Rod versus Pega. But I think I think Gore is definitely feeling a little bit more comfortable, more comfortable than at least Helix versus Master Mummy for sure. Yeah. I really would have loved to see that earlier match between these two players. I, have, I can only imagine what Helix versus Maximum looks like at the level these two, these two are playing. Roaster, man. So, so good. So there it is again, Max Brass. And here's DC's favorite stage. <laughs> I, I like the stage more than, uh, than Scrap Your Arms. Yeah. At least, at least it's harder to run away on the stage. <laughs> right now, we actually have an interesting hit right here by Superdog. Up. Right now, getting sent to the bottom. And there it is. Almost. Double Toaster working out so much. If uh, he's able to actually get rushed, that's going to do so much damage right there on the mummy, dude. Yeah, very interesting uh, glove pick, too. Using that Hydra and the clap back. I wonder if uh, Super Red getting a little desperate here. Uh, there's a grab come up from Gore. Things are looking very good for Gore, man. I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Gormagala. This is a good, I think it, Max Brass was the best choice he's made all day <laughs> so yeah. far. Max Brass, he was like, I mean, I was trying to show the people that Helix, aka DNA Man. Uh oh, oh. He had the USA chance, chance too. Chance. Whoa, these guys need to. So, first off, we're in a foreign land, and yet they're chance in USA. Uh, you know, I don't think it's a disrespectful thing. I think it's. I mean, the, the Japanese players don't. They're, they're probably not used Japan. to it. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I, I am glad that they're showing support, and I'll say that much. All right. Well, you know what? Maybe they're just me. They just love their nation. Anyway, here we go. Um, and Focusing Sigurant. on the match. Uh, so you see the gloves of the player now, the, the high drugs. He's down by like, quite a bit again, though. I think he's, I think this truly is his kryptonite here, Max Brass. Yeah, Max Brass looking like a very tough matchup. If he was actually able to win this, the meta would be completely crazy. But here it is. Uh, I don't even think War has broken a sweat here as he sits with 75% uh, HP and. There you Super have it. Quick round and wow. Yo, I love that shot. You saw the trophy? Yeah. The tro uh, that belt being right Was that there. some foreshadowing? That was, that was foreshadowing, dude. <laughs> it's like Gorm Magala on the verge. But of course, he's going to have to That's win crazy. two sets of three out of five against the Emperor. <laughs>